Barry Jackson made my day yesterday because he tweeted out the following. <sighs> Heat general manager Andy Ellisberg and Nets GM Sean Marks were seen talking this morning in Las Vegas, per sources. He continues its pursuit of Kevin Durant. Andy and Sean were seen chatting at the, their hotel. He determined to exhaust all options to acquire Durant before pursuing anything else significant. Donovan Mitchell obviously looms as an option, though he hasn't requested a trade from the Jazz, and they are not shopping him. And why, yes, every GM speaks with every GM they see in Vegas. Heats Ellisberg and Nets Marks were going beyond a cursory conversation. They're dining together. My Nevada food so industry sources haven't said the topic, but the Heat's serious pursuit of Durant is well known in the NBA. Can I just tell you? What? I, I don't want to squash your little wailing. Then don't. But this has to be said. I mentioned a couple of days ago that in the end, I believe the Nets want Kevin Durant to play for the Nets. And they are giving it the old college try to give the appearance or make it seem as if though they're trying to trade Kevin Durant but aren't getting what they want. Now, it is easy to go to Kevin Durant and say, here's what we're trying to get. Here's what we're getting offered. These deals aren't good enough to trade, but we are making every attempt we can to play to trade you. Kevin Durant loves basketball. There is no person that has not said that Kevin Durant is going to not play because he loves the sport so much. So if I get him 20, 30 games in, into the season and they're having success, mm -hmm. now the onus is on Kevin Durant. Mm. Now the onus is on Kevin Durant to say, I want to leave this winning team to go there, and it makes him look worse. Now, there's a lot of things that Kevin Durant hates. Being the bad guy is one of them. And so if they play this right, and what I said happens, Kevin Durant and Kyrie will be on the nets all of next year. Okay. Okay, then done? one or two things have to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Either KD or Kyrie either have to tank it or choose not to play until You're they done? get traded. You're done? Now, Kyrie would do it. KD won't do it. Well, we, you think? You don't know. I mean, he's got no, zero. Like, don't know. I'm just saying, you don't here's know. what I think. Mm -hmm. Because if you really wanted to trade somebody, Case in point, the Cleveland Browns traded Baker Mayfield and paid $10 million of his salary. Yeah, that's something. Yes. Are you done? Sure. Just, just, you know what this is? Ooh, got Eddie Ellisberg. Sit with Sean Marks at a breakfast. I mean, gonna fleece the Nets for Kevin Durant. <laughs> you'll take Lowry Hero and Struess, and you'll like it. You know what they did yesterday? No. Just everybody, you, just can talk, I just tell you what just happened? Up. Let me tell you what just happened. It's 2-2 two -two in the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> and you rounded third. And I hold up the stop sign. Right? Yeah. And you're like, no, I can do it, coach. I can do it. And you round third base and trip and fall on your face. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, no. I I, 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 I scored with style. It did. 
and, and by and the then, way, and then I the walk way, over you and give you the stink eye on the way back to the dugout. This by the is way, what's happening? So somebody was boots on the ground. This person's uh, a chan twenty three on Twitter. All right, he was he was he was botg yesterday, and he has a photo. This is allegedly Andy Ellisberg and Sean Marks in Vegas. Well, All there right? is no mistake in Andy Ellisberg. There's no and, you can't and, say it looks like no. It is uh, it either is or it isn't. Well, here's the thing. Allegedly, they were there for he says they were there for over an hour and a half. Okay, that's a long breakfast. What's an average breakfast time you would say going out? I would say 35 minutes. That's exactly really. Have yeah. you ever eaten hour and a half a long breakfast, dude? You killed the buffet. I, and I still did it yeah. in efficient time. No, uh, they were getting ready for lunch. My E A R is it, my E E R is is quite uh, efficient. All right, dude. I'm telling you right now. You know what the Heat did yesterday? Here's what the Heat did. They sent in good cop. Okay. Andy came in there to deliver the news softly to Sean Marks and says, listen, we can do this the easy way. All right. Riley won't embarrass you. You don't have to go through the whole Godfather thing where he fleeces you in person. I'm here to deliver a message. And that is, sons are out. He only wants to be on the heat. So, Sean, Sean. Shawnee boy. I don't know you can give somebody a nickname after you just said you want to fleece them. Let's just let's just make this as painless as possible, okay? At okay? that point, it's Mister Marks. No, it's not. It's not. Andy Ellisberg doesn't call anybody Mister. Okay, get out of here. Marksy baby, though. <laughs> Marksy baby. Marksy okay. baby. All right. Let's just let's just get this done. All right. Let's let's stop it. Let's stop. Let's stop playing footsie here. Let's just make this happen. All right. Here's what here's what fits in the salary. I already know because I know this better than you. Here's what it fits. Okay. This is what fits us. We all look good here. Who, who's not going to look good? What are you going to do? You're going to bring him back? You're going to bring back? It's going to be on Sports Center every single day, every single day. And then what? You know, until the inevitable happens and you guys fold because the deal. Let me just tell you something right now. Can I just tell you something right now, Marksy baby? Okay. The deals ain't getting better. Okay. Because he's only getting older. All right. And you guys are only going to be more desperate. What are you going to do? Pull another Ben Simmons move? Worked real great for you then, did it, Marksy? Everyone's laughing at you. I, I, I don't want to say this to you. I'm your friend. And I, this, this is me, Andy, okay? Marksy, you don't want to be embarrassed again. You've already traded fat bum James Harden and got back a worse bum in Ben Simmons. So do yourself a favor. Get something before there's nothing. How old is Ben Simmons? 23? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Ben Simmons. Uh, he is 25. He's going to be 26 next week. Okay, 26. All right. <clears throat> I didn't even add that into the mix. Add what? Ben Simmons. I didn't even consider that. As you should not. I, I know. Uh, look. Dude sucks. I'm just, Doesn't play basketball. I, I'm Got a just, broken I'm, back. Okay. He's mentally shook. You're, so they, that's your big attraction? No, ben it's not. It's not my big attraction at all. But if this accidentally comes together, it's not I could see happen. nobody getting traded. Okay, it's happening though. Okay, like it, like you make it sound like what I'm saying makes zero sense. How about this? How about this? So there's a. I don't know if I want to call. it. There's going to be another team involved if they make this trade. Maybe. No, oh yeah, there will. Hey. They're gonna be players. It, it'll be about seven or eight players involved in this trade. I think that's why Andy tells Marxy baby, he says, We'll make it look good. We'll make it look good. But you're not getting Bam and you're not getting Jimmy. Them's the breaks. What he's telling him. Yeah. He goes, I can't get Bam. No, you can't get Bam. He doesn't want to come here without Bam. That's it. And by the way, we don't want Ben Simmons either. We're, and nobody wants him. So guess what? Them's the rules. Sorry, technicality. You should have learned your cap, Marksy baby. I knew the rule. Did you know the rule? Them's the rules. Can I just tell you? You best believe. Hmm? You best believe somebody in that heat building raised the eyebrow and looked around the room. What do y'all think? Ben Simmons? No. 
Yes. I think uh, – You can't – like, yeah, you be, listen. You, let, let's do the heat meeting. Let's do the heat meeting. Uh, I'm going to have – you, uh, Mar- Marcos, you play the role of Nick Garrison, okay? Yeah. All right. I'm going to be Pat Riley. Latino you, Nick. Yeah. Why don't you be uh, – <laughs> Nicolas. Why, why, why don't you be uh, Adam Simons from the Heat front office and just say, what do you think about Ben Simmons? Let, let's 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 role play here. You go ahead, go ahead. Who am I? You're you're Adam Simons. You're you're bringing up Ben Simmons. I am. Yeah, you bring him up in the meeting. So so guys, let listen. Wait, hear me out. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> right, what, what, what you got, Adam? Um, look, it. I'm I'm thinking about this mm-hmm. and. And I'm more than sure that they want to unload Ben Simmons. Mm. And, I mean, it's worth a shot. Because if you can get him just – I don't care if he don't shoot. If you can get him playing defense on the wing, that's what we like. You you want Ben Simmons on the Miami Heat? I didn't say I wanted him. But is that what you're saying, Adam? Sure. Why would you bring that up, Adam? Get out of my office. That was now. Now here's a simple. Wait, wait, wait. Bring it to Tobias Harris. Wait, wait. wait. (laughs) Here's wait. Guess what? I did. I did overlook one small fact, and it seemed to elude me. (laughs) That Jimmy Jimmy hates (laughs) Jimmy hates Jimmy hates Ben Simmons. So I take it back. I take it back. Oh, man. You know, I'm going to But anyway, so how about this? So something called, I don't know if this is a real tweet, to be honest with you. Hey, me. man, I'm... listen, stop sending us um, <laughs> tweets what? from Drip Skylark. We're using a different name. You do it all the time. I don't send you to. That was a real tweet with that, with uh, Andy Ellisberg, I think. From who? Uh, let's see. See? He don't even, he just seen a picture and the eyebrow raises. No, 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 no. I'll get this guy. Hold on. Pookie. Pookie. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got the guy's name. I got the guy's name. Uh, Andrew L. Just L. Now, what is he, a musician? <laughs> Just using one initial? It's Andy Ellisberg's burner, burner account. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> Andrew L. <laughs> They'll never know. Uh, let's see. He what probably sent somebody out. Hey, Todd. Todd, the intern. Take Todd a picture. The intern. The hardest working guy in South Florida. He State. says, uh, by the way, I'm in Vegas. Here's proof of the breakfast meeting. Resorts World uh, meeting lasted an uh, hour and a half because when I checked them out, they were still chatting. So there you go. Okay. Now, you guys said it was breakfast. It was. I got to tell you. And I'm look, I'm all for it. Mm-hmm. But Andy seems like he takes his time at the breakfast. Really? That, you know. He's talking it up, chatting it up, having breakfast, sipping on some coffee or something. Slows his roll? Yeah. I mean, like... Andy Andy Ellisberg goes, he has appetizer, and then he has main course for breakfast? Hey, the only reason why you eat so fast is because I believe you want to get the good stuff before everybody else get it. You're not wrong. Because I'm... Listen, Marcos... It is something to see. We'll both go down the we we'll both go down the line. I might get a couple of sausages, a little scoop of egg. Mm-hmm. Who liked the bacon? And next to me, in my ear, he go, huh? I like what they're trying to do here. I'll bite. That's what I, that's what I, and we go. Turn, so turn so so wait. So we get to the plate and I have my eggs, my sausage. I got a little toast. You know, something breakfast-like. And he comes with a cart. Like, dude, they, like, he just, and he just puts it on. Like, if if he crosses something that he didn't see before, but he may like, he will take the big spoon, slide it over and make a little corner, and there's plenty of room for you, Mr. Hash Browns with special meat in it. Like, he just, so, like, he, the only thing that slows him down is he runs out of juice and it all gets stuck in his throat. He got to go run and get a refill. That's it. <laughs> all right. So we talked earlier in the show. Today. If you guys missed it, 
Andy Ellisberg did the shakedown of Marksy Boy. All right, old Sean Marks. He went to Andy Ellisberg and he says, Andy, please, please, Andy, I'm looking the fool with this Kevin Durant thing. Save me. Make it look respectable. Ooh. Really? And, yeah. and, and, and Andy said to him, you're embarrassing yourself right now, Marksy boy. I don't know what to tell you. All right, look, you just be lucky that, 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 all right, old GF isn't here. He goes, who's that? Godfather. All right, because you, you cry in front of the Godfather. You're never the same. Hey. So I'm saving you the embarrassment. Are they so eating breakfast like they out. did? Are they eating breakfast like they did in Wedding Crashers? You remember that breakfast they had where they just had pancakes <laughs> on top? <laughs> just stacking on the bacon yeah. and the pancakes. Yeah. pancakes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I listen to those Vegas. What was it yesterday? Yesterday's Monday, and he gets it on a good deal. What are they getting that Vegas buffet for? Like nine dollars? Oh yeah, it don't start picking up till Friday. A Thursday, uh, a Thursday, and he's gonna be looking for that that company credit card. He's gonna, uh, it goes from like twelve months to thirty-five. Ridiculous. They start on Thursday. Yeah. No. Oh. Uh, yeah. No. No. no, no like Thursdays don't. No, Friday. Friday oh, okay, flips. Because okay, okay. yeah, we would okay. usually get there like on a Wednesday, Thursday, and be like, "Oh, it's great! Look at all the food we got for eight dollars." Yeah. And then Friday hits. Oof. Drained you. But anyway, so Marxy baby, he's sitting there at that table. Oh please, oh, God, Kyrie Irving doesn't want to be here. And James Harden goes, "I know, dude. It's embarrassing. You're gonna lose." Think, it, it, look, it, I think Andy just. Hits him with the realization. I'm like, listen, Marxy baby. I wouldn't want to be the GM who loses James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant all in the span of a month either. That's and, embarrassing. And, and end up with uh, Ben Simmons. End up with Ben Simmons. So <laughs> let's make you look good. Okay, look, we're not training Bam. Okay, let's just, we're at a table right now. So here's Bam. He's off. He's off the table. Okay, Marxy baby. Now, Jimmy Buckets, don't even ask. <laughs> Let's make it work, okay? Let's just imagine they're not on the Heat roster. How can we make this work? But what do you want, some draft picks? We'll, we'll be terrible in a couple of years. You don't want that? You know we'll be bad. I'm sure you'll, 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 I'm sure we'll pull a you. We'll, we'll, I'm sure after this Kevin Durant. Big spot. Oh, big spot. Big spot. And Stitchy Mouse. Hello. Yeah. Um. I'm sure we'll be bad. This is what he does. He tries to reassure him. These assets are going to work out for you. Look, 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 Marxy, baby. Look how everybody talks about this, this, this Sam Presti in OKC. A draft hoarder. Everybody loves him. Oh, look at all the picks Sam Presti has. You could be the next Sam Presti. Isn't that great? There's honor in that. Marxy, baby. So, uh, could you, by the way, can you pass the bacon? Thank you. Um, Let's do this, okay? Tyler Hero. Kyle Lowry, then take one of uh, our other shooters of your choice. I'll give you this, the uh, the Serbian kid, all right? And I'll give you Wait three a minute. Picks. What? Didn't two days ago you say he was untradeable? Business changed. Uh, and he's and he's getting down. To oh it. my god! That's all for time, baby. Okay. So Dude, I'm gonna give minus you minus one you... for this minus one. Minus Why? one. Because you change your like, we we complain about this all the time, and you say you never do it while doing it in the same damn conversation. We're saying you're not doing it. I'm t- I'm I'm making business happen. Okay, so low dog. Didn't you say he was untradeable? Hey, Marcy, baby, let me just show you something. No, you didn't answer my question. Who, Jovic? Yeah. yeah. Did you see his last summer league game? Took no. One shot. Hey, I gotta get the deal done. I gotta get the deal done. <laughs> you know. So now you know what he is. A little sweetener. A little sweetener. You know, we're at breakfast. Hey, could you pass me that coffee? You hey, are, uh, sweetener. You are amazing. A little sweetener, dude. A little sweetener. Can we find a bigger body to fit that head? Do it. A little sweetener. I'm there we go. What, That's I'm better. You, what's going on at that breakfast table? What's going on in Utah? So I got, I got low dog. I got Tyler Hero. Can you Yogi. trade? Can you trade Serbian? Because he yeah. just signed the contract. Uh you might. I think it's it's not as long. I think they gotta wait like forty days or some bull crap like that. We can wait. Training camp's not till October, baby. Ooh-wee. So it might not officially be official. Everybody can go on their summer vacations. We have a good time. I believe not, this. Don't you sweat ready? the deep. Nothing's gonna happen before the season starts. Hmm? I told you what, what what 
Brooklyn's going to try to do. There's no rush on their part to make the trade. I don't know about that, man. Why? Windows was saying yesterday because the market is not what they want it to be right now, and uh, and a lot of it is they're not this whole bringing Kevin Durant back thing. Like it's a nice idea, but they're apparently working to make it happen. Like he says he wants out, they're trying to accommodate it. Like this idea that they're going to try and sabotage, keep him there. I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, and then you have this. You want to hear another thing? Can I sure. hear something else? Sure. So uh, Ian Begley of uh, BegsBuckets.com. Are we really? I'm just kidding. He writes for the New York Post. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he said this on uh, the Jake Fisher podcast. He's the uh, insider for Bleacher Report. He says, people with connection to the Heat have been in Durant's ear heavily in the days after his trade request. Isn't that tampering? Goosies. Goosies galore. Is that not is that not tampering? Well, here's the thing, Leroy. It's not tampering if it's player player. And let me ask you, who do you think's been in his ear? Jimmy Butler. I would say it's the real one. His Olympic, his uh his recent Olympic teammate. Bam out of bios in that ear, dude. That dude's a cruder. That's what he does. All he's right. not even like he's not even embarrassed. He's like, Bam out of bios in here taking jerseys from your favorite player. He'll tell you the Olympics. I'm gonna recruit people. Always Bam. That dude doesn't care. And people love him. They Everybody love him. does seem to love Bam. They love him. Right? What's the love? What's no, the love? I know. I know. Not like I'm not saying they're wrong for it. I'm just saying like. People tend to. Uh, I didn't know if you were still sour at him, you know, because of the whole calling you a devil's advocate thing, you know? No, why would I be afraid? Like, I've never said anything negative about Bam. Uh, well, it did. Then it, I want him to shoot the ball more? Nah, uh, you said Marcus Smart was Defensive Player of the Year. I think that's what he was referring to. Be joined by one of our favorites, Heat Big Man, Bam Adebayo, joining the show. Bam, thanks for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I appreciate y'all. Y'all be having my back a lot of times. So. I appreciate y'all too. Now Leroy sometimes be, you know, you gotta play devil's advocate. I get it, but he know, gets it. Know, that's BT, my side. That that's what he does. That's the part right there. <laughs> that's the part right there. You couldn't wait to use this opportunity to get on Bam's oh, good yo. side that's by throwing your boy under the bus. Well, well, he's like, bam, 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 that's what he does. That is what he does. Like, like you were jumping in. That's what he does. It's not what I do. We appreciate it, man. Thanks for the time, man. Good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thanks for believing in me, man. Always, man. <laughs> Double down. Uh, you wonder why I call you a fan with good access. I'm not a fan with good access, dude. I'm really? <laughs> Get to the questions people really? want. Really? How many other guys are saying uh, always to their a delightful person just interview? I don't know. He's a delightful guy. That That's not my question. Like, just because I'm questioning your fan with good access, mm. when you say always, bam, right? How many other reporters are doing that? Hard to say. Hard None. To say. Hard None. To say. I don't hey, know. I'm salty because Bam didn't give me any love. No. I've been a couple times now. It's happened. D Wade not bringing him wine. D Wade didn't bring me wine. Now Bam has said that you're devil's advocate. You yeah. Know. Listen, yes, I got to get a t shirt made. I guess you're going to, you know, maybe you'll get your revenge at Media Day next year. You know, maybe you'll oh, remember. No, I got a list. I'm writing down questions this time. You going All to Brooklyn next Media said. Day? Huh? You going to Brooklyn Nets media day? <laughs> you so you think Kyle Lowry is going to be with Brooklyn? So well, I think he has to be with Brooklyn. I mean, they got to trade something. Like that whole two, report the of two Kyle, the two Kyles on the same team. Who's the other Kyle? I mean, not Kyle. Um, Kyrie. No, Kyrie I think Kyrie's, Kyrie. Kyrie's going to end up in in Los Angeles. They'll fold. They'll do what LeBron wants. But here's the problem. 
I get what LeBron wants. He likes comfort food. He likes playing with guys he's comfortable with, yep. right? But all of his guys are old. Yeah. You need right. some youth. Yeah, In the no, last no. three or four years, they've traded away really good players that happen to be young. Well, maybe Street Clothes gets it together. If Street Clothes gets it together, that's different for him. They still need shooting. They still need somebody else that can handle the ball. Kyrie can do that. He can shoot, but you need a knock. Every team has a knockdown three-point guy, except for the Lakers. So what kind of basketball are you going to play if you don't have that guy? Look, I'm not worried about them, all right? They'll get their Kyrie Irving. The Heat will get Kevin Durant. It's all happening for us, baby. I I, I was really Did he like become the I favorite. Was, no, I would imagine the Suns are still the favorite. I think the oh, last time odds came out, I think it was. No, I'm talking about just in the East. Oh yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah, you don't think so? You don't oh, think Durant Boston and and, Durant. and 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 don't forget uh, Middleton's coming back. Dude, Durant, Jimmy, and Bam. Durant, Jimmy, and Bam. Durant. Jimmy and Bam. Oh, it sounds like <laughs> we should get a hey, it seemed like a beat should have been behind that when he said it for the third time. I think we got to uh, make a song out of that one. Uh, by the way, uh, the Miami Heat, uh, no, no practice yesterday for Nikola Jovic. He's dealing with a quad issue. Mm -hmm. Big Yurt also. Not able to practice. Huh. Hmm. 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 Could be something. <laughs> it could be something. It could be the red, baby. Wow. Oh, so that. Oh, I just got. So mm. that's kind of what happens right before. Well, it's interesting. Hey, yo, but you. Oh, you're not feeling so good. Oh, sit down. What's going on in Utah? What is going on in Vegas right now, it's dude? A, uh, what number do you want? Okay. Oh, we got number five available in Brooklyn. We're a terrible franchise. Every number's available. A little sweetener. Don't you worry, baby. Don't you don't you're worry. not worried. Like, you don't think that Jovich is gonna be awesome? Uh I will I will run the risk for Kevin Durant. You do you do your regular life like this? What what are you talking about? I'm just saying, like, you, shiny new thing, you got to have it. You don't care what the ramifications are. It's Kevin Durant, baby. Durant. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited about Kevin Durant. Leroy. Durant. Jimmy. Bam. <laughs> that would be amazing. Good yeah, I'm going to be. It's, listen, I'm gonna, I, I miss Precious. I think Precious is going to be good. We gave, no, we gave, gave a pressure. For, gave a pressure for Kyle Lowry. Stop for Kyle Lowry. For you think Jovic pressure's Durant. gonna be good? I do think pressure's gonna be good, but you don't think he would have been good in this system. I think that system gives him a little more freedom, whereas the Heat had him in a specific role. So, like, yeah, I get it that pressures could end up being good. But you got to figure out how that's going to fit, how that would have fit on this team. I don't necessarily disagree with what you're saying, but I think he's going to be good. I think it hurt to give him up. Not as much as it hurt Jovic. Not as much as it hurt giving up Jovic. Because that's where basketball is going. Jovic is a child. I don't have time Even to more reason to have him. Jimmy's Jimmy's got, Jimmy's got a, a prime window here. You can't waste it on You don't baby. think Jovic? Wait a minute. Hold. Why do we do that? He's LeBron a baby. That. What? And I don't like young players. Leroy, he's a baby. You think he's going to contribute in the playoffs? Best guess? You said this, dude. You said the same thing about Gabe Vincent. Gabe Vincent's 26. I don't care. You still, if you're a newbie to playoffs, you're a newbie. It doesn't matter how old you are. And he's Gabe not. Vincent was okay. I he think your better your better hard. your better argument would have been Tyler. True, he ain't gonna play as much as that though. Then what are you doing? What are you talking about? 
You know he's, he's not, not going to play. play he's not going to play. Like Tyler came in and got substantial minutes right away. Do you want to know who's not going to play more minutes then? Who? Kevin Durant, baby. We get Kevin Durant. <laughs> man, <laughs> yes, <laughs> man, he's beat with Sean Dude. Marks, baby. Wow. Dude. <laughs> shiny new thing. That's his new nickname. The shiny Kevin Durant. SNT. <laughs> Every season, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, or hockey. Soon as the rumor mill comes around about the Heat, the Dolphins, the Marlins, or the Panthers getting a player that he recognizes, this is what we get. J-Fake, I'm not sure if it's Leroy's thing. Oh, no. Get me the Durant Orca! What's going on right now? He's like, <laughs> hey, stay off the weed. <laughs> Fire the Jovic torpedo! It's really skinny. Excited? Get Durant, baby. I'm so excited. I really feel like we're going to get him now. Why would Andy really? Ellisberg have breakfast that long? Wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that a trick question? Minus one. <laughs> Wait, a Wait a minute. Minus one. You should get a minus one, too. No, minus one. Minus you, put one. That in, you put that in the air. For Sass. I wasn't even thinking like that. Then you Minus said one. your exact words. Why would Andy Ellisberg take that long to eat breakfast? Did you not say that? Minus one. Minus one. To you, I appreciate you taking the responsibilities of the minus one. I'm not ones. taking the minus one. That's your minus one. No, it's not. That's your minus one. Would I even thought of that if you wouldn't have said it? Guy says... I'll give Durant and Jimmy a month before Jimmy is going full Draymond on him. Hashtag no, that's not true. Madonna. I No, that's not true. I, I will say this. When Kevin Durant is playing basketball, he's dedicated to basketball. Him and Jimmy ain't going to have no problems. You're right. Now, all the problems. if you had Ke- Kyrie, soon as Kyrie went on a spirit quest, that would annoy Jimmy. But as far as KD, that's all they talk about is how much this dude loves basketball and wants to win playing basketball. Jimmy ain't going to have no problems with, with, with KD. I mean, his None. best friend on the team had love handles and golfs every time he steps off the basketball court. Like, he, it's you don't have to just be a, a gym dude, warrior he for had, him to like you. Hey, don't count last year. What? I know you want to. He had, had a tough count year. Last year. He had a tough year. He had a tough year. He also played a lot of golf. You know what happens if a guy who never has a bad year? Hall of Famer. Okay. Kyle Lowry's had a really great career. Okay. So so he actually had a fine regular so, season. So so is it safe for me to say that this last season mm-hmm. was an anomaly? Well, we'll find out in Brooklyn. So so let me get this right. Hmm? So you're trading yep. Kyle. Yep. You're trading um Struce or Duncan. Probably Duncan. You're trading Tyler. Pains me, but yes. And then you're throwing in Jovich for a little sweetener. Yep. And Jovich, pick, obviously. And, 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 and pick. sweetener. And pick score. Jo- Jovich doesn't get traded. Uh, maybe. I think they, they, I mean, you, oh man. If I mean, that pans out, awesome. what, what if he ends up being like one, the last four or five euros coming to the league? Maybe he would. Maybe. And, you know, let's take more than one shot in a summer league game, dude. You know, like, sheesh. Why are you so, like, you want everybody to shoot the ball a million times. What? You're the star. Is he? Dude. You know who took over summer league? You know, you know the Heat or the the one team that preach unselfishness, nah. right? 
and you immediately come on this show. You got to take some and talk about balls. guys being unselfish. You got to, you got to, you got to take it by the you know what's. You have to. So you want him to go out there and shoot 20, 25 <laughs> shots. <laughs> Jeez, dude. You do. Max Struess, he took it by the grapefruits last year, dude. That's what he did. He took over Summer League. He arrived. Max Struess says, guess who's here? Struessy, yeah, baby. He wasn't playing with number 50. Oh, man, number 50. <laughs> he's He's listening. But you you forgot to tell him I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the guy behind you. I know it is annoying that they're trying to make Jovic like set screens and do big man stuff. Like let him let him cook. He's never going to get to do it during the regular season. Go let him cook in summer league. But that's my point. They were asking him to do certain things, and you're getting mad at him. All right, Jovic. Here comes the dribble handoff game. Oh, I hate. There's nobody. You know I hate the <laughs> dribble handoff. I hate the dribble handoff. <laughs> I hate to dribble handoff more than I hate avocados. Jose says if the Heat trade Jovic, it's a big mistake and not necessary. Right. Oh, bro, it's for Durant. What are we talking about here? What you are, you are definitely the franchise. If you ran a franchise, you would definitely have that franchise. They may compete for three years. How are you going to sit here and argue uh, a week ago that they should have traded Bam for him? And now you're giving me. I didn't say. I Jovic. never said. I never said they should trade anybody. I kept asking you, who are they going to trade for? I never suggested or said Jovic. anything. I don't even know Jovic. He's adorable. All, all I have is the last three or four euros that came into this league, and they've been awesome. Oh, you're thinking of the euros that have been awesome. I'm sure there's been bum euros too. Name one. Yeah, there's that guy on the on the wizard. What's he done? True. Who uh, uh, exactly? What's his name? Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, what is his name? name? Persingis. Yeah, Persingis. Oh, poor Zingis. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a unicorn for a minute. What about Zoran? <laughs> Stunt <laughs> Steve producing on WQAM today says I'll pack Jovic's bags. <laughs> Really? Do your own show. What is he doing? This guy. This guy. I got to do this. We got two Do shows we're doing. Of course. 